Welcome back, and it's all about San Juan, Puerto Rico, and it's all about how to get here and what you're going to be doing while you're here and whether or not you need a car. That's why we have an expert. Hans is back with us from the San Juan Marriott. Hello, sir. I knew I'd get to where you're from right eventually. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, I love that. That's nice. I love compliments. All right, we need to talk, first of all, how we're going to get there. Obviously, coming from the U.S., major gateways into San Juan include what? Uh, starting off with Boston, coming down the eastern seaboard, you have nonstop flights from all these destinations, New York, Newark, uh, Washington, Baltimore, Philly, Pittsburgh, uh, Charlotte, uh, all the way down to Miami. Uh, all the major carriers as well as all the discount carriers are coming down nonstop uh, to Puerto Rico year-round. That's a good point, too, because it didn't used to be the case. Those, uh, the, the, some of the smaller airlines and some of the discount carriers weren't they just didn't have the infrastructure yet as they get larger and larger and still remain low cost they're they've got great service down there yeah i mean there is no shortage on flights to come into puerto rico at any time of the day uh, and so you can mix and match depending on who you're flying with and where you're coming from you know, that's a point you mentioned earlier about cruise ships too that's a that's a great uh cruise and stay idea too. look into those cruise itineraries and then do a three night or a two night extension either in, on the uh, before or after the cruise yeah we got we have three uh, cruise uh, ships that are home ported in San Juan, really it is the cruise ship uh, capital of the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. So if you are coming in on a cruise, uh, spend two, three extra nights either in the beginning or at the end to get a flavor of the island and make the most out of your flight and of your trip. Absolutely. And then finally, it, it's, San Juan's a pretty walkable city. I mean, you're able to walk around a little bit in some of the neighborhoods or, or you can take a taxi. Do we need to rent a car? No, you don't need to rent a car. Uh, if you do want to explore the island beyond San Juan, you want to go to Aquadilla, you want to go to Ponce, you want to go conservatory, you want to drive around, you want to go to the center of the island, you want to see coffee plantation, then yes, you rent a car and it's very easy. It's just like here, you rent a car, a U.S. driver license. Um, traffic on the right, it's a great place. And of course, no passport needed. No passport required at all, and then US dollars and the same with the language. Hans, thank you very much for doing it. Thank you. We'll be right back. Stay with us.